hi guys welcome back to my channel i am so happy to have you guys back in today's video i will be showing you how you can transform inexpensive items into lavish beautiful centerpieces you do not want to miss out please stay tuned and watch how i put together this amazing masterpiece Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment your thoughts below, and share this video with a friend. So, we are giving away three free Cricut machines to three of our contestants. If you want to be a part of our giveaway for a chance to win, go to elegantcreator.com slash Cricut giveaway to apply. Let us know in the comment section if you have applied. Okay guys, this centerpiece is pretty easy to construct, okay? So once you get all your items down packed, you're ready to go. So we're gonna start off with building our base. And your base is going to be this dessert glass plate. And then the glue that you're going to use is pretty crucial because you wanna make sure that you are using a very strong bonding glue and the glue that i'm going to be using to bond together my vases my glass vases is this go to glue so the reason why i mentioned you need a strong bonding glue is because these martini glasses are super heavy so you want to make sure whatever glue you're using is the perfect glue to bond to hold together tightly your centerpiece because you do not want your centerpiece falling apart centerpiece is fully dry so this is basically on how it's going to look just look at how amazing this look guys and this a centerpiece like this will last will last you for a very long time if you preserve it and then if you store it properly okay and then the beautiful thing about this centerpiece is you can do a fresh flower arrangement in your bowl right here or you can do a silk flower arrangement you know play around with it and choose which type of flower combination you would like to use for your centerpiece. I love the um, the glossy look to it. You can choose to use a matte finishing look or you can choose a glossy look. I went ahead with a glossy look and I gave it about three or four coating to get this look. It's a really pretty easy centerpiece, easy to create. It's inexpensive and you can use it for any event and any functions that you may have. So I definitely want to hear your thoughts below of what you think of the finishing look. Another great thing about this centerpiece is the fact that it's heavy, okay? So it's the reason why I love the fact that it's heavy is because it can support whatever flower arrangement that you choose to add to the top of your centerpiece. For the flower arrangement, I use a round foam ball like this. Now the size of the foam ball that if you want like a really big flower arrangement, I suggest you use a size 12 inch um, foam ball. You're going to place it on top of your bowl like this. And this is how it's going to look. And then you can proceed in doing your flower arrangement. So this is my flower arrangement that I'm going to be using for my centerpiece. As you can see, it's all roses. And if you can see, you will see the round foam ball at the bottom. It will look something like this. Okay, and it's like, a, I would say the diameter of this flower is about 40 inches in diameter. So you can choose whatever size flower head that you would like to create for your centerpiece. That option is definitely up to you. And of course, you know, I had to add some crystals to the bottom of my foam ball and it will look something like this. You want to use flower pen to attach all of your crystals to the bottom and it looks something like this. Mm -hmm. 
So definitely play around on how you want your centerpiece to come out. There's really so much you can do with this centerpiece, guys. Create it, you know, to your liking, to your taste, and just have fun with it, like I always say. Create this amazing 40 die flower ball arrangement. You will need about 200 red roses, such as these. I will definitely put in the description box on exactly where you can get these amazing looking roses.